To change the shaft orientation from standard to left-handed, you'll need to remove the head and then put the pump into a vise to remove the cover and side covers. After securing the pump into a vise, use your quarter inch Allen wrench to remove the end cover bolts. It may be necessary to use a rubber hammer to remove the end cover by gently tapping on it. Remove any excess gasket material on either of these surfaces with a fine wire brush. After removing the end cover and any excess gasket material, use your quarter inch wrench to remove the side covers. It may be necessary to use a rubber hammer and tap on the corner of the side cover so you have more to grab onto and pull it straight off. Remove the other side cover the same way. And now remove the crankshaft by twisting and pulling it out. And since you have the head off, you can move the plungers up and down as necessary to line it up with the lobes of the crankshaft for removal. And then we'll reinstall it facing this way. Before reinstalling the crankshaft, apply some oil to the lobes of the crankshaft and also to the inside of the connecting rods. And make sure these surfaces are clean of any dirt. When reinstalling, begin with the center lobe facing down and from underneath adjust the height of the plungers as necessary match up and slip the lobes of the crankshaft through it without forcing it. You may want to use a flat blade screwdriver to help align a connecting rod if need be, being careful not to damage it. You shouldn't need to force these in here if everything is lined up. Okay, now that we've reinstalled the crankshaft, we can put the side covers back on. They are interchangeable from side to side. Notice that there's an angle to this that needs to face, the taper needs to face down towards the head. Apply a small amount of oil to the inside of this seal before reinstalling this side cover. Make sure the pump turns freely. It's a good idea to use a thread sealant type of Loctite on the side cover bolts to prevent an oil leak. It's a good idea to start these bolts by hand and then use your quarter inch Allen wrench and torque them between 100 and 110 inch pounds. After torquing down the side cover bolts, turn the crankshaft again and make sure that it turns freely. 
reinstall a new gasket and reinstall the end cover with the drain facing down and the vent plug facing up. Reinstall the end cover bolts and torque them between 100 and 110 inch pounds. After torquing down the end cover, remove the pump from the vise and reinstall the head.